For 14 years, Juno-winning musician Roger Ellis has played the same Takamini guitar on subway platforms, at schools and nursing homes, brightening people's days with his musical gift. But on Monday, the music abruptly stopped. Ellis's guitar went missing. He left it in the parking lot at Fairview Mall after busking that afternoon. As soon as he noticed it was missing from his car, he went back to the mall, but it was nowhere to be found. Ellis says the guitar is a vital part of his life. This guitar has been a lot of places. It's been in recording studios. Um, I've recorded with different groups of musicians with it. When you play guitar for a long time, you, you develop a relationship with it. It's like, it's, you know, it's like the, the carpenter with the tools. It's like, what am I going to do without my tools? Music is very, very important to me. It keeps my mental health in check. Absolutely. It's a matter of fact, it's like, um, it's, it's vital to a person's mental. If you're a musician, you've got to play. Roger's daughter, Rebecca, says that the guitar is also a significant part of their family history. The case also contained custom guitar picks created for her father and some items belonging to her grandfather as well. She says losing it is simply heartbreaking. I was devastated because that's my dad's guitar and that's a piece of our family history. It's the guitar that's touched the heart of so many people, whether it be walking through the subway or someone sick mm -hmm. in a nursing home. And music is therapy and music is healing. Mm -hmm. And just losing that piece of my dad's history, our family's history, you know, it just, it hurt mm -hmm. that my dad um, lost it, you know, like he placed it down and someone picked it up, but it didn't belong to them. Mm -hmm. They could have done the right thing and walked it over to the TTC. Now, the guitar you saw Roger play is the original Martin guitar he played on the Juno award-winning record, The Last Song, with the Canadian rock pop band Edward Bear. He says it's not playable daily. Both Roger and his daughters say they understand if someone needed his guitar for the money, but are desperately hoping it will be returned and they won't ask any questions. You can read more about Roger and the full story on our website, citynews.ca.